Okay, welcome to another episode of Planet Base. Um, for those of you don't, that aren't familiar with Planet Base, Planet Base is a sci-fi colony build em up uh, game uh, based on several little planets that you can uh, colonize and then with a small group of colonists you can uh, build up a large colony and uh, eventually attract the attention of the rest of the uh, galaxy solar system i'm not quite sure exactly where we are but uh, you get more people to come to your colony and that's how you grow so um let's get started or well, actually let's continue where we left off now uh, where we left on the last episode was we just built our uh, security center or we're going to build our security center and we were having trouble with a bit of uh, minerals and metals mostly so we're going to try and see if we can't uh, mitigate that problem in this episode let's see what we get <coughs> so let's see we still have our control center to build we need two more um, bioplastic for our facility that's coming at the moment you can see them wobbling in this direction it's not very, very efficient. Um, are, those, are those power suits that they're wearing? It looks like they are. Look at the legs. Such detail. <coughs> oh, awesome. The amount of thought that went into this game is incredible. Alright, let's also remove the domes so that we can see what's happening inside. We need uh, one more iron and one more plastic. There's two more iron available. Two free iron. I'm not sure. Or two or three metals. I'm not quite sure exactly what. One there and one on the way. So it won't take long before we have this thing up and running. <coughs> now, as soon as we have that up and running, we can start uh, looking towards getting more uh, materials. Now, there isn't much of a, a mining possibility at the moment in this direction so we're going to have to see if we can't get anything set up over here so we might have to see if we can't grow a bit in this direction trouble is that we only have one connection so if we do grow in this direction we'll need a second um, airlock over here I think that'll be best then we have at least if this one of these buildings breaks down or gets hit by an asteroid uh, this section over here doesn't get isolated from the rest of the colony or it does get isolated, isolated from the rest of the colony but people don't die from that let's see in order to do that we need a little bit of a look center is built we need a bit of a basis uh, what you need for most colonies is quite simply you need a uh, canteen you need somehow to something to fill that canteen with and that's a biodome and uh, if we want to build more mines we need to have access from those mines back into the colony <coughs> all right here we come some more colonists let's see how many people we get this time three excellent so we got let's see two biologists and is that, is that a worker or is that no, two workers and a biologist so let's see we are now at eight to nine so we have nine workers to eight biologists you want to keep the number of biologists um, to be greater than any of the other uh, colonists on your site basically you need to have more biologists than anybody so right now we have a discrepancy we need to have we have one worker too many so let's change the percentages here <coughs> so we need to go to 70 and we need, we need a guard as well so let's also try and see if we can't get a guard um, like that I think this is a good a good way to do this we should get a couple of guards they won't have any weapons because we don't have we're not producing any weapons yet uh, maybe we should also build that I'm not quite sure if we should let's just let's just make semiconductors we can always sell semiconductors for guns later in this in the game so let's keep like that let's build a um, security console here we just need one one's enough all right and this is going to cost us a bit of metal 
these are also going to cost us a bit of metal. Uh, oh, this is plastic. It's only plastic. Oh, good. Oh, no, wait. It is metal and plastic. My mistake. It's metal and plastic. This thing only costs us metal. Uh, and, sorry. <laughs> I'm making so many mistakes. Metal and plastic. All right. So as soon as we have that up and running. Oh, look at them. They're already filling it up with plastic. This is great. Now, we need more storage facilities. Storage materials. Uh, storage uh, space. So, what we are going to do is we're going to put down a storage building. Oh, we don't have any metal anymore. Now, we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait a little bit until we get more metal. And hopefully that shouldn't be too long. Let's see, what do we need? We need two metal and two plastic. Two plastic shouldn't be a big deal. And we're going to put a building here. And then we're going to put a mine over here. So let's see if we can't move it a bit more over in this direction. So we have a little bit of space. We need to have space for the mine. But the mine is supposed to go over like, like there. And we can, we can put it down right now. Just, just to give you an example, and then we need let's see this puppy. That's that's the storage facility. Oh, we need a big, bigger one. That's that's good size there. So we need four, four iron and four um, plastic for the building, and then one iron and one plastic for the connection. So we need in total five plastic and five iron. This is going to be great see we have these semiconductors also up and running I hope we get a security guard soon until we do we can turn this guy off we don't need it yet so we can save a little bit of power <coughs> here comes our first little oh no <laughs> that's not for us that's just that's to that's to maintain uh, a spare it's good we have enough spares to keep every every one of our, every one of our uh, power generating facilities up and running it's great so are we gonna oh wait, wait what is our status at the moment we have oxygen 50 and 22 colonists that's more than enough is our food going up or is it going down food capacity is staying reasonably stable our food production is going up that's great um, so we need to get more food in, but we still have some time before we get into a situation where we have to get a lot of food in. Because we can see that this, we, we get a situation where we are a bit in threat of getting starvation. We're not there, there yet. <laughs> As you look at this, this is way too much food. So, oh, we get some more colonists. Let's look at what we get this time. It's a beautiful building. I uh, uh, ship. I'm not sure exactly what's wrong with me. But why only one guard? That is incredibly weird. We only get one guard? Uh, I guess it's fine. Nothing we can else we can do about that. I mean, we have at least one guard. Now, uh, a guard is useful in that he will make sure that we are safe. He will sacrifice his life and run towards danger while everybody else will try and run away from danger. And thanks for the, to the security center, we can now also apply um, security controls. So we can set a security non-alert. That means that everything goes back to normal. We can set a yellow alert. That means that everybody uh, will stay indoors and medics and guards will stay on duty for longer so they won't sleep. And red alert, uh, all colonists will stay indoors, medics and guards will stay on duty for longer, colonists will fight enemies by any means necessary. This is something you do not want to ever get in a situation of having to use, and you want to try and avoid that as much as possible. You want to have the guards do all the fighting for you, and your colonists to stay safe. Because although they will fight with the fists in summer, and they will fight to the death, um, if you get a terrorist get in here, uh, with his gun, he will kill three terrorists before he drops. I mean, three colonists before he drops. So, um, 
in the beginning that might not be such a uh, big problem because maybe they'll come with three terrorists but in the end they will come in far greater numbers and they will try and overrun your colony and if you're not careful you don't have enough guards because they all got shot or they you simply didn't have any guards then um, these terrorists will murder your entire colony Oh, we have a failure of our robot here. Carrier bot. Just, I'm not quite sure. Should we give him a name? No, we can't give him a name. He's KO. <laughs> He's knocked out. All right. Do we have any more metal to get? Excellent. Oh, no. He's coming with another spear. These spears will go fast. So uh, you should always have, in the beginning, at least two spares. Uh, two two uh, workshops. Two spare workshops. So you need... Uh, two spare workshops per two um, uh, panels or wind turbines and that should keep them alive if you have enough production at least if you don't have any production if your mine goes down then you will not be able to keep up and eventually these machines will degrade to a point where they can't work and uh, then you'll have a problem with power generation. We don't want that. We want to be able to keep our colony running day and night. Because they need power to survive. They need power to, uh, for the oxygen generators and they need power for their water uh, extractors. Otherwise, well, eh, it's hard to say this, but they will die. <laughs> they will die a gruesome death. <coughs> So we have five colonists. Oh no, we don't. We have three, two colonists to sleep. Stop! Stay in bed. I can count you guys. Then okay, they all they all slept. So everybody is reasonably happy. Let's see what is our status? We are status good. That's great. But we do need either a bigger cabin or we need more cabins. And I think a bigger cabin would be best. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly where to put the cabin yet. <coughs> I'm thinking we should put it around here. Or at least somewhere in this spot. Maybe we'll... No, I think we should reserve this spot for the additional landing pad. Especially the big landing pad. The starport. Um, we'll build a starport over here. Maybe two of them? So two ships can land at the same time. So we'll have three ships... Uh, landing here uh, to f to uh, facilitate our colony. Oh, he's also going to break down. Oh, there he goes. And we lost the spare. That's a shame. But this is a weird ship. What is this? Let's see what this is. Doesn't look like a trader. Is it a trader? Guard. We got more guards? Excellent. This is a new type of ship. This is so cool. I'm taking a picture of that. <coughs> so we have three guards now. That's more than enough. So we don't need any more guards. Let's take the guard numbers off and keep the biologists uh, at 60% and the workers at 40. That way we always get more biologists than workers. Wait, what is he carrying? What? He was carrying nothing there. His hands were empty, right? <laughs> I'm going to have to recheck my feed there, my view, and see if he was carrying an empty box. I think that was a little bit of a glitch. Uh, at least our okay. We still have enough power in this collector to last us the rest of the morning until the day comes. And we don't have much wind. It's picking up a bit. No, it's not going to be enough. It might get. Come on, you can make it. You can do it. No, we're not going to make it. There's going to be a little bit of power being sipped out of this power collector. Uh, this one's going to end up uh, empty in a, in a second. Oh, there it goes. And then we're going to start taking power out of this one. So, um, 
one of the things you want to try and avoid is that um, both power collectors or all your power collectors are emptied but as we get a bigger and bigger colony that's a much likelier and likelier scenario since uh, keeping up with power consumption and uh, going overboard with power generation um, is something that you have to try and keep a balance keep the balance of that because if you have too many power generation facilities then you have to have you you're basically just producing only spares to keep these things up and running for no particular reason because most of their power will be wasted on power clusters that have a no capacity to store power so that'd be uh, a bit, bit of a waste so this is this is a definitely a power uh, of a, a colony management and uh, a management game where you have to just think about what you want to uh, do with your materials and we want to build colony buildings not so much power buildings power buildings are a requirement but are not what we what we're trying to do in this game although it is a what, what, what is it actually where where is the um no <coughs> is it this one that's a quick save <laughs> that's not what i wanted Hmm. Okay, there's a button somewhere. I'm not quite sure exactly which button it is, but it shows you the challenges that you have to try and uh, overcome. And one of them, or try and beat, one of them is generating 500 kilowatts of power. So the game also gives you a, a challenge where it says, try and generate 500 kilowatts. So they're, they're most likely going to be moments where you're gonna say okay fine let me put up a whole bunch of these solar panels see if i can't get over the 500 watts <clears throat> but do you really need 500 watts uh, yes to be honest yes once you get those really big colonies that stretch from horizon to horizon then yes you will need 500 watts more even and oh, we got some more colonists our colony is growing fast and I haven't even finished building anything yet. <laughs> Let's see what we get this time. More biologists. Excellent. <clears throat> so now we have 10 biologists and 9 workers. That's excellent. That's what we want. So let's keep that going. Uh, we need more workers though. Let's see how we, are. we are an excellent. That's good. Uh, let's see. Are we going to get semiconductors? Yes. We have three spares. That's not very good. Um, but they're in the machine here. <coughs> but we do have more space to store. So as soon as those uh, spares are removed from the machine and are put in our little bit of a uh, uh, storage space. Ah, finally, look at this. We have a little button added to our interface. This is the camera button. This will allow us to see uh, inside of the facilities. This is a far more interesting space, so let's, let's click on that. <coughs> so here we have a internal camera that we can uh, use to look around and see our colonists eat and see our colonists move around. That's great. I like that little interactivity, that's cool. <coughs> Let's see, we have one iron, uh, one metal, we have no bioplastic, it's all being produced I hope. Are you guys producing some bioplastics? Yeah, they're working on that. Now we need more bioplastics since we need to expand in this direction as well. So what we are going to do here is we're going to build another oxygen generator. Let's see, do, can we ha do we have space to build a... yes we do. We, should we build on this side or on this side? It's a good question. We can also build our mine over here. That will give us um, space to eventually build out more mines over here. But we can also just spread out our wealth a little bit. Not our wealth, I mean spread out the, the risk. So I think we should do that. Let's put that there and see if we can fit in a... Yes.
Let's leave that. It won't get built until we set up the connection anyway. Let's prioritize this thing. So we need two iron, or two metal, and two bioplastic for that. And then we'll uh, set up a an oxygen plant over here, and maybe even another processor plant. I think that would that would be a good idea. I think we could we could put another processor plant here, like so, and connect it up to the oxygen generator we want to place over here, and then we can diverge into a much much more secure uh, grid shape uh, where we have more multiple entrances and multiple. Uh, paths for our colonists to take, so less of a danger. So we just need to get this thing built. And this would also allow our colonists to travel um, to the... Um, well, basically to maintain our facilities here, or our panels and so on. Uh, safely because they can just travel if they can walk through the, 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 the colony and come out and exit here instead of having to walk all the way around from over here <coughs> now we need that over here as well so eventually we're gonna sp uh, span out from here and in, and bit in this direction and we're gonna put another uh, airlock over here so we can uh, maintain these guys these plants these facilities over here as well there isn't much wind on this planet, and I think, uh, yeah, we're we're past the 50 kilowatt. So we might have to think about making an additional um, building an additional windmill, so we can get back up to that sweet spot of being able to produce enough power to generate uh, to fill up our. Uh, power collectors without having to need help from the other uh, solar panels and so on. The wind is a fickle thing. Oh good, our oh. airlock is almost getting almost done. Just need one more metal. What are you carrying? What is that? Ah, it's a spear. Good. Oh no, it's a, it's not a spear. It's a semiconductor. <laughs> Even better. That means we have a semiconductor that we we can actually sell it. We have one coin. Semiconductors are uh, one of the base uh, materials and stuff that, um, wait, one of the first things that you can produce that are actually worth a lot of money. So you can you can use up your uh, semiconductors for uh, and, and store it and then use it later when you're building robots, or you can sell it at a very high price uh, early on in the game. And if we get a trader to visit us anytime soon, that's what we will do. We'll sell our semiconductor and use that to get either more uh, metal. Or more bioplastic because we have absolutely no more bioplastic. What happened to our bioplastic? <coughs> See, they're all empty. Okay, we got a trader here. This is quite a large trader, actually, as a matter of fact. So let's click on him. Oh, he only sells robots and he has a blueprint for a constructor bot. Ah! But we don't have 200 coin. We only have one. And he also sells semiconductors. So the value for a semiconductor to this guy will be very low. Although, yeah, we need it. So we're going to sell him a whole bunch of food as well. And we're going to take all of his coin. How much is you? Carry bot is 80. Driller bot. Ooh, driller bot. Uh, how much space do you have? A driller bot is quite, it's quite hel helpful, handy to have. Can we get that? Yes, yes we can, yes we can. Excellent. So, 
Let's take some of this food off. We might need it. And let's give him some... Something else that we have of value. That's this. And then let's see if we can fill up the rest. Oh, we don't need to give him that much. This is fine. Let's take some of his cash as well. Nope, that's enough. Alright, let's trade that. I really enjoy having a Drillabot. Drillabots are excellent. So let's go. This is a good trade. Drillabots will speed up our mining uh, capacity or mining uh, um, in this act. So they also will not get hurt. So we won't be needing or may using up all of our uh, medicinal supplies, uh, medical supplies. And trying to keep uh, a, a robot alive. <laughs> so this is almost ready to be built. And there comes our constructor bot. Let's see if he wants to get busy. Look how fast that goes up. <coughs> now we just need the connection up as well. To this thingy. Let's see if that goes up. Excellent. Now we have a second entrance into our base, which is good, and um, that will allow our people to travel up and down, in and out the factory, or in and out the colony whenever they please, and without having to to get into a dangerous situation where they have to walk outside. Do we, do we have enough yet? Or oh, we need some more food. And this, the last little bits of food are going to be delivered by our colonists here. We have uh, quite a bit of food available. This is still at 98% and that's mostly food, right? Uh, such a bad storage system. But I guess that's what we have to live with. So here you go. This is what I mean with a bottleneck. See, all these people are trying to get outside to deliver their cargo. But because we only have one exit, they all have to wait. They have to wait for somebody to get in, they have to wait for somebody to get out. I mean, they have to get dressed somewhere, no? So my guess is they walk in this door, get transformed into little uh, spacesuits, and then they walk out. Now this airlock has to be used by two different groups. People are coming out from the mine, uh, coming and going to the mine, uh, and of course people that are going to the trade ship. So when we do have our uh, additional starports here, we're going to need more than one airlock to to be able to uh, basically to help people get in and out efficiently. So we're going to have to have either multiple uh, entrances or multiple oxygen generators here or a big facility where they can all get in and out but that's that is it also brings a bit of a danger with it because oh here comes the sandstorm let's put down our yellow alert everybody inside drop what you're doing and get back in get Come on. Oh, this is so slow. In the meantime, they're all like slowly dying. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to imagine how this works because they are in protective gear, right? Does the sand have radiation or do their suits get damaged? Does it, does that, is that what we're actually looking at? How does their health degrade? in a sandstorm. So we have our security guard here looking at all these little cameras trying to spot weird thingies 
and he will or she will relay all the information to our other guards who are yeah, walking and patrolling the colony. They don't have any weapons yet. Maybe they have a baton. Something they can hit people with. There should be one more guard somewhere. So we have one here. Uh, one guard over here who needs to sleep. Where's the other one? I thought we had three guards. Did we have three guards? Yes, we do have three guards. Oh, there he is. Laura Lee. Now, she looks more like a space marine than a security guard. Where is she? Oh, there she goes. Look at that armor. Maybe that's what their uh, the, the design is based on, on the Space Marines. Maybe from Aliens, I'm not sure, or uh, from Doom. Because <laughs> it seems like they have a bit more armor than they actually need. Yeah, well, we'll see. I think the storm is starting to... Yeah, I think it's, it's finally dissipating. We're going past past the storm, and we're generating 188 kilowatts. So, let's put the alert off. Oh, that noise is so annoying. Let's get everybody back to work. We need to uh, get this trading ship off this planet as soon as possible, and we need that robot. So let's see. We have one more pending resource, and we need that connection up and running as well. This is good. Now. We still have an inherent danger right here and here, or sorry, this one here. If that gets hit, if that connection gets hit by an asteroid, we lose all power and water. So we will need to eventually think about making a second connection somewhere. And making it possible for a connection bypass to occur. So we keep on getting power. Now, if you take too long filling up your trading ship, it will leave without dropping off its goods. So you will not get what you wanted. That's fine. Just wasted a whole bunch of money and resources. <laughs> and then you wasted some poor captain's time. You can see the symbol of what he, uh, what kind of a, uh, a trader he is. This is a tech trader on the side of the ship. So if he has a symbol of like, like a, a chip here, then you know that that's his main, um, main uh, selling point. He sells chips, which we of course don't need at the moment, but we're producing anyway. Because it does eventually, it will, it will, it will, it will help. We'll get a lot of chips out of this. I mean, a lot of good out of this. We'll get a lot of money, and we will uh, eventually be able to make uh, robots and all these kind of things. All this good stuff. So, are we done yet? We need eight more. Come on, you guys. So let's see, we have zero metal still, and we have one bioplastic. Uh, we need one more metal for our connection here, and then we can build this additional mine. Good thing we have so many workers. Now we have 10 workers. Uh, we have four working in the uh, processing plant, three working in the mine. That means we have seven, that means we have three more available for this mine. We are going to get a miner bot and that will take up a slot you know one of our mining facilities when it mines um, and he will work like crazy to give us as much ore as we p he possibly can so i expect a jump in ore production and with a jump in ore production i expect a lot more metal being processed so these two uh, metal processors will be uh, used to the uh, to the maximum currently they only have we only have one ore so as soon as this uh, blue ship is gone, the smurf, 
all of these colonists will get back to work, back to their normal jobs. Oh no. Our carrier butt is no more. So there you go. He turned into metal and plastic. Recycled. Uh, maybe we should have bought the carrier butt instead. <laughs> uh, don't worry. We'll be, we'll be getting a lot of carrier butts later. Once we start making and producing more carrier butts. I mean, we are able to build a, a robotics facility, but we don't have the capacity yet to start producing uh, bots. So we'll, we'll have to wait. We need way more metal producers, metal, metal production facilities, before we can even start thinking about uh, building more robots. Now, let's see. Is this guy also almost finished? No, he's in excellent condition. It's fine. It's good. So he can still last quite a long time. See where is our miner bot? There he is. He's already at work. Look how fast he can mine. 98, 99, 100. This guy has just doubled our production speed. And these guys is uh, let's see Tanner and Timmy, <laughs> Timmy Pope, uh, are trying to keep up with him. They will not succeed. Oh, we also have our second mine up and running. That's great means now we can actually start producing real ore and that should get our uh, facility up and running I mean our colony up and running sooner you just need to get that metal processed in order to do that we can of course build an additional metal processing facility let me see where is our um oh there we go but as you can see our food production has taken a dive. That's because we have way more colonists than we can actually feed at the moment. So we need another bio dome. And we want a big one like we have over here. So we can produce as much as that. We don't need the massive big one yet. So there we go. We need this built and we need to get that. So can we still build a mine here? I don't think so. No, no. But we, yes, we can. Ah, oh, very efficient. So we can still put a mine here. <laughs> and then we can have three mines working full out. Let's see, do we have anybody here? No. Okay, we got another trader. We sadly enough don't have anything to trade with. We only have one uh, semiconductor. So let's see what is what kind of a miner is it? Oh, it's the same kind of tech mine, tech uh, tech trader. So ooh. he has a super extractor patent, and he has another driller bot. But we don't have the money to pay for this, uh, right? Do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. Even if we gave him, uh, could give him all of that, but that would just leave us with one medical supplies. That's that's too much of a risk. Especially since we have so many mines available. I mean, working at the full out. Um, I will take your money, though. We have no use for this... Um, trans... What's it? A, uh, semiconductor yet, anyway. So, we might as well sell it. So how many how many engineers do we have? We have three engineers. Let's let's try and see if we can't get more engineers here. So we need one more engineer, and that engineer will be uh, helping us in our um, factory to produce more spares. Oh, you can see it. It's already happening. See our storage here is empty. Well, this one is completely full. So we are definitely not producing at maximum capacity. We're we are using up all of our resources as we are producing it. So that's it's not very efficient. So we need more production facilities. So we need more processing plants. We need more factories. We need more ore. Come on, you guys, get to work. This mine is at full capacity, and this one is at. Um, Two-thirds, this is good still. Always use a little bit more. We need more bioplastic. 
These, these machines are empty. And they should be full. If they are empty, that means we're not producing enough food. So we need the extra biodome. So what we're building right now. Oh, we need so much. Is this smart? Maybe we should turn this off. Sorry if anybody got sick there for a second. <laughs> Alright, we got two more engineers. Excellent. So now, let's just focus on workers. We need more workers. Let's get 100% workers. We only want workers. Now, we also don't have anything to trade, so let's turn the trader off. Uh, we can't uh, set the visitors on yet because we don't have a starport. We need a starport in order to attract visitors. And visitors will give us money. They'll give us also prestige. And uh, we don't need more prestige. Prestige comes with a uh, added um, well, with a cost, basically. A dangerous cost. Let's see, the connection is going to get built soon. And we need two more. This is so slow. We need way more resources. We have so little at the moment. We are so poor. <laughs> okay, we have 33 coin. One more semiconductor. So that's great. Why are we producing this? Maybe we should turn this off. Right? Let's just turn one of them off. So that it doesn't use up all of our metals. We're up to five spares again. So that's good. That means we're keeping up with the uh, with the damage these, these machines are taking. It's great. <coughs> Everybody seems happy. We are an excellent facility. So we're doing good. Something is going good. So we have enough food for for now, but we can't keep going with this forever. We need that biodome up and running. We need more food. We have more mouths to feed and less food to feed those mouths with. So but we're getting there. We're getting there. They're all working really hard. And I can see already, yes. We're being we're starting to supply the the biodome with uh, metal. It's a good start, good sign. And you can't you can speed this up, but it doesn't really matter. That basically just means that uh, the entire process gets sped sped up. The entire simulation gets sped up. We could increase the priority of this facility. That would mean that they are more inclined to work in the uh, processing plant than in the mines except for our uh, miner bot he will always work in the mine he can only work in the mine he, he, he only has like you know jackhammer for arms so <laughs> if you want him to be using these tiny little remote controls or tiny little controls he'll be jackhammering his way through your machine in no time whoa that guy is so strong you just lifted an entire block of metal. Oh, you can see that he has... He's already... He's still wearing his... Uh, is that the medic? Yeah, that's the medic. That's right. He's wearing his... Let me, let's see if we can't catch him right here. Walking in. There he comes. Oh, look at that. He's wearing his, uh, his exosuit. There he goes. Very helpful medic. Does more than just heal people. <laughs> he also he also fixes building. <laughs> Let's see. We have a semiconductor here that is pretty much empty. We have a machine here that is useless. We could turn that into a. Um, do we want to do that? Yeah, we do. I'm going to recycle that, and I'm going to put a, a gun factory right here, a arms workshop, and so then we can start making some guns. 
So we have now, we, uh, we got another two more workers. Excellent. So a gun requires bioplastic, metal, and a semiconductor. So that's a very expensive tool. Um, so we don't want to make uh, too many of it. We can, of course, always sell them off. They, they do fetch quite a lot of money. They're a very, very valuable piece of material. I mean, hardware. So we want to keep those in our factory, over in our colony as much as possible and keep our guards armed. You don't want to have guards running up to fully armed terrorists trying to take them down with just their bare fists. You don't want that. So, let's call this an evening. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It always helps. Um, and I will see you in the next episode where we continue with our little colony. See how far we get. <laughs> right. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.